All right, so I guess we'll start with the body over here. Let's go ahead and click it and make it visible. And you're gonna see we're sitting at two million primitives after we voxelize, not terrible. If you did want to though, you could drop another uh, just quick poly reduce. And again, we'll switch this over to manual, say output, and we'll drop this down. You know what, we can even drop it down, say to 100,000, and then put this back on automate, auto update. And like we mentioned before, you could control click this lock icon if you wanted to open this file later and just start from this point. So now you may be wondering like, why didn't I probably reduce this down to a game res? And we can, and we are gonna do that for some of these, but we're gonna try on this particular one is because this needs to animate, you know, you're gonna bend the knees and bend the elbows and bend the little fingers here. Poly, reduce, poly reduction, uh, especially when you're dealing with these triangles and stuff, uh, probably isn't gonna cut it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit tab. I'm gonna type in quad remesher and go ahead and drop this node in here. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And this is going to run a third party plugin. It's a paid plugin, but you can use the trial version if you just wanna check it out. Uh, very, very similar to ZBrush's Z Remesher. And of course, let's click this and click the visibility so we can just see those results. And everything else, everything looks pretty good. The only thing I'm really gonna change is doing a symmetry axis. So we're gonna do it and go ahead and put on X symmetry. And I'm, just, I'm pulling this uh, window over here. You can see you can interrupt this operation if you'd like. And the end result's pretty good. In fact, I'm not really gonna change much, if anything, on this. Now, there are a bunch of different things you can do. Just like in uh, ZBrush, you can use vertex colors to go ahead and paint density in areas where you want. You can set up some edge loop control in here. You can change the adaptive size. So again, uh, if the adaptive size, it's actually adaptive quad count would need to be turned on. If you turn this on, it's gonna pack more information on the curvature changes. In fact, you know what, let's do that. Let's turn adaptive on. So you see our, our mesh got a little bit more dense, but it is looking at our edge changes in our geometry and packing more information where it thinks it needs to. So what I'm gonna do is I'll turn this down to like say 12, and that'll respect our poly count a little bit more, but also give it a little bit more uh, edge control, which might be helpful around those eyeballs. So if I middle mouse click over here, we're gonna see instead of getting us 5,000, it gave us 6,000. I think that's passable, so we'll go ahead and continue on. However, before we move on, you're going to see that uh, Exocide uh, got rid of our name again. We already know how to fix that, so let's type in attribute, tap, hit tab and type in attribute transfer. So we want this result to be output of the attribute transfer, but we want to maintain the name that was in our poly reduce. Here, we're going to go ahead and turn off points and our primitives, or choose name. And now if we click on this one, we have our body high back for this asset.